Haircutting simply means design. And this feeling for design must come from within. You know, when I started my own small, it was a small business, in Bond Street, 108 New Bond Street in 1954, it was 700 square feet. And the first day we had about three clients. It was, you know, <laughs> it grew very, very slowly. But I made up my mind then that if I was going to be in hairdressing long term, I wanted to change things. I wanted to change things. I wanted to change things. What up, guys? Listen, I wanted, I want to make this video. It's not really a product review, although I'm gonna share it with you guys and ask you guys to check it out. I recently watched a movie. My wife, she just started hair school, and it was funny the way it worked out. It's like, it was crazy because I downloaded the movie online, and it was like 12 bucks, and we watched, or we didn't watch it, I watched it. Justine was in the room studying, because she, you know, she just started hair school. The next day, I come to the barbershop, and I put it on in the barbershop, and my wife sends me a text and she says babe they just instructed us to watch this movie isn't that funny I'm like man there's something there's a reason why I watch this movie it's called Vidal Sassoon the movie I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out but it makes me think about all the power players in the hairstyles industry and although barbers want to want to not compare ourselves to hairstylists which I think is stupid because we could learn a lot from hairstyles from the salon industry as opposed to the barbershop industry. Think about it, guys. Why segregate from people who are doing that good, able that are charging that much for 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 a hairstyle for what they're doing? And the reason why they can do it is because they're professional. They have when you go into a salon, you expect it. You get a call, you get handed a coffee, you get treated with so much respect. The customer service is there. It's just a professional place. The way people dress, they carry themselves. Barbershops got a bad rap for that. You know, a lot of them, not all of us, but a lot of barbershops do. But we gotta stop segregating ourselves from hairstyles and learn from it. It made me think. You look at Videl Sassoon and how much he's changed the game, how he grew an empire through hair. Then you look at Paul Mitchell. You look at the, the Redkin couple. You look at all these, all these people who are in the hair industry who are creating huge empires. And they're hairstylists, right? They're cosmetologists. Who's our Vidal Sassoon? In the barber industry, who is our Paul Mitchell? Who's the our Redkin? We don't have that guy. You guys ever thought about that? Like, I know this is not a conversation that you can have all the time because barbers look at each other as com competition. The, me, me as a barber, and the guy down the street, we're, we're in competition. And even me across, uh, you know, station across from me. We're in competition. I mean, I don't feel that way, but that's that's how it is for the majority of barbers. That's how we think. Instead of getting together, like a round table type thing, and having these, these discussions, I just want to bring it up, man. I just want to. I mean, you can comment below, put your opinions, put your thoughts in, and let's have that discussion, man. Like, who is our Vidal Sassoon? Who is our Paul Mitchell? And why don't we have that in this industry? What is it that's holding us back? And what are we gonna do to move forward? You know, I see a big movement in this industry, I do. I mean, you, you got you got like exotics, shout out to Curtis Smith. You know, you, you got you got brands that are coming up and I think we need to support these brands. I think we need to have that, that guy that Videl Sasson, that Paul Mitchell. But it's up to us as barbers, right? Just a, just a, just a, just food for thought. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm watching it again. It's like, yo, the, the level of excellence that this guy demanded the level of customer service that this guy demanded. People thought he was crazy. But he was just obsessed with his craft. And he created, he created, he created an empire because of it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, comment below, share this video. Let's have this discussion. Love you, Barbara family. Love you, Barbara family.